corazón de todos. Clasificación A. Tengo a las 10. Gobierno del Estado de Nuevo León presenta Escuela TV, un programa de la Secretaría de Educación, Canal 28 y Radio Nuevo León. Escuela TV, primer grado, secundaria. Gracias por permanecer en la señal de Canal 28 Nuevo León y también de Radio Nuevo León. En esta hora de 4 a 5 de la tarde corresponde para los alumnos y alumnas de primero de secundaria. Esperemos que ya estén listos con todos sus útiles escolares porque en esta hora estarán viendo la materia de inglés con la maestra Idalia Garza, también eh, como intérprete. En esta hora nos acompaña la maestra Laura Villarreal. Presten mucha atención porque este tema de hoy será a continuación de mañana miércoles. Así que le damos la más cordial bienvenida a la maestra Idalia Garza. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the English class for first grade. My name is Idalia Garza and today I'm going to be with you in this schedule from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. I'm going to take off this face mask and I'm going to take off these plastic gloves to work with you. Remember that if you go out of your house, you need to do the same. You need to use that articles to protect you outside. Well, today we're going to continue with the class that we were studying yesterday about the comic strips. Do you remember about that? Well, before of that, I would like to thank to the government and all the authorities for making this project possible. But also, today especially, I would like to thank to all the teachers, all the great team of teachers that are collaborating to make this kind of project possible because we are making a lot of activities for you. We are making a great effort to work for you to try to help you to understand and to learn about different topics, about different signatures or subjects in your house. And you can study about all the topics that we are going to be continuing in this, in this week. Well, today I would like to begin telling you that our topic is about the analyzing a comic strip. Yesterday we were reading comic strips and we were talking about the genres of the comic strips. I asked you yesterday to talk to your parents, to your family, about the different comic strips you know. But also, I told you that you were going to have a discussion to hold a conversation with your parents. Do you remember that? I asked you, you were going to use all your vocabulary to talk about what you know about comic strips and what you have learned in the last class about the comic strips. Well. Today we are going to continue. But before of that, I would like to take the opportunity to say that we were receiving a lot of messages about people saying that why don't we speak in Spanish? Why don't we translate our class? And why don't we put the captions of what I'm saying? Well, remember that this is an English class and that we have only three classes per week. We cannot pretend to learn an English uh, language, like a second language, if we are talking in Spanish. So it is necessary to practice the most part of the time that you can. Remember that you haven't, you haven't had classes at, at your school during the last month, one month. So this is just your second English class. It is not too much. So I think that you can make an effort to understand the class. Nowadays, there are a lot of tools that you can use at home to learn English, you can use your cell phone, you can use your textbook. It is only a way that you can look for the different vocabulary that we are going to see in the class and practice it at home. You can practice it with your family, with your parents, with your brothers or sisters. And also, if you are still in touch with your 
friends, you can call them or you can send them messages and practicing your English. Because if we are going to translate all the time, you are not, you are not going to advance or increase your English level, okay? So that's one of the reasons in we have that uh, we must to follow to continue with this way of work. But we can make an exception at the end of the class or at the end of each block to say the most important that, that we have seen for the class and to help all the students of the state to understand the class. Well, I'm going to remind you some of the preventive measures. Remember to wash your hands properly for at least 20 seconds. Also, when sneezing or coughing, cover your nose and mouth with the internal angle of your arm. And also I'm going to ask you, please keep your work area and common objects clean before to start working. And I stay home, I invite you to stay at home and let's learn together. Well, the recreational and literary environment, it is going to be present in our class. The social practice is read comics to discuss cultural expressions. The expected learning for today is interpret content in comic strip. Pay attention to this. It is very important not be confused because yesterday a lot of people thought that we were going to create a comic. No, the class of yesterday, the last class, was to review the different genres of the comics. But today we are going to read content in different comic strips. So. Our product of today is not going to be a physical product. Today you are going to continue having a, a conversation, holding a discussion with your family about the comic strips that you know. And the comic strip you will create it in the next class. Then the materials that we are going to need are the next textbook and comics. Remember that we have different textbooks in the different schools. So I cannot put here just one textbook because you maybe have another different from other students. The notebook, the colors, and your pencil. And what about this? Pay attention to this. It is very important because a lot of people has made questions about what about the experiences folder or the evidence folder. Pay attention to this. If you have contact with your English teacher, maybe he or she is sending you some activities that you must to do, and that's okay. But if you have no contact with your English teacher, so you can follow all these classes and make the activities that we offer to you. Remember that you don't need to write all the things, all the information that we put in the presentations, in the classes on TV, it is not necessary to make all the things, all the information that you see in the screen. You are going to use only the most important for your own activities. You are going to write in your notebook or maybe you can take some pictures about some interesting activities and then you are going to include them in your experience folder. But if your teacher has told you another instructions, please follow that instructions. Well, before to begin with the, with the class, I'm going to make a little review about what we saw in the last class. In the last class, we were talking about the comic strips. I asked you in the last class if you know what a comic is. If you remember, I asked you about the different genres, which one is your favorite? Well, today, to begin with the class, I'm going to show you an image. Please pay attention to it. To it. In the screen, you can see different images. For those who are following us on radio, we have six different pictures about different characters. And in the instruction, it says, circle the images related to comic strips. And there is one image that has a circle do you think, is it right? The image for those who are on radio, that image that has a circle, it's about Snow White. Now, ask yourself, Snow White is a character that belongs to a comic strip, yes or no? Well, I'm sure you know the answer, so I'm going to take out that circle, okay? And you are going to select, please, 
talk to your family if you are with your parents or with your brothers or sisters. Pay attention to that pictures. In the first one, we have an image in which is Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and all the friends. Remember that cartoon or that scene? If I tell you, you are going to know the answer, but the name is Peanut, okay? In the next picture, you can see an image about Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks is sleeping in the little bed. What do you think about it? Does it belong to a comic strip or a classic tale? Then in the next one, we have Snow White, and we have said that she is not a character about a comic strip. In the next one, in the fourth one, we have an image where is Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. In the next one, we have two characters, two very popular characters, Superman and Batman. They are the characters of the Justice League. And at the end, we have some of the characters of the Avengers. So, now that you have seen all the pictures, could you select which one belongs to a comic strip? What do you say about the first one? About Charlie Brown, about Snoopy, and all the Peanuts, the, the Peanuts character? Well, that's right. We're going to select this one because it belongs to a comic strip. Then, for Goldilocks and the Three Bears, do you think it belongs a comic strip? No, it doesn't. It belongs a classic tale. The next one, for Snow White, does it belong to a comic strip? We said no. The next one, Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf, does it belong to a comic strip? No, it doesn't. And what about the Justice League characters and the Avengers? Those are pictures of characters that belongs to a comic strip. And how can we know it? Well, when we have a classic tale, usually there is a narrator that is telling all the story. And in a classic tale, the narrator is telling what the characters are saying in each scene. In the comic strip, every character is saying his or her own dialogue, okay? Well, I expect you have learned with this a difference between the comic strip and the classic tales. Well, now I want to ask you, what is a comic? Can you say with your own words what a comic is? Well, we can say that it is a series of drawings or images that usually have text and can be used to give a message. Also, it is considered as an artistic medium that combines text and images. How could you describe a comic strip? If you use your own words to say to your parents, brothers, sisters, or to your friends what a comic strip is, which words will you use? Which definition will you use? Okay, send me your comments, please. Now pay attention in the screen. We're going to see about the differences between a comic strip and a comic book. Here we have a comic strip about Calvin and Hobbes, and we have a comic book with a cover about Spider-Man. How can I know the difference between comic strip and comic book? Well, you can see in the screen, a comic strip could have only three or four panels, or just one level of panels or frames, and that's all. In that group of panels or frames, you can find a complete story about a character. And in a comic book, you are going to find a lot of comics that could be about the same topic or different topics, but they include a lot of pictures about the characters telling maybe one or different stories, okay? That's the main difference between comic strip and comic book. Do you have comics books? Which genre are your comics books? And do you like reading the newspapers on Sundays? Well, on Sundays you can find a section, a special section, in which you can find a lot of 
comic strips about different characters, the most popular since a lot of time. You can find every Sunday a section with all the comic strips in this community. Now, pay attention because I have another example to say you which is another kind of comic strip. In the screen, you can see two different comic strips with only one panel or frame, okay? Well, we're going to make a pause and after the pause, we're going to continue saying the differences between the comic strips with different panels or with just one panel. We'll come back. Escuela TV, primer grado, secundaria. Escuela TV se transmite simultáneamente a través de Facebook, YouTube y Twitter. Síguenos. Regresamos. Esto es Escuela TV. Sigue viendo Escuela TV. por las calles de la ciudad, descubrimos que el día del niño no es como otros días. No hay escuela, no hay paseos, no hay fiestas. Oh, pero ¿qué sucede? Este es el mejor festejo que puede tener un niño. Él está en casa. Sus padres lo cuidan y protegen. ¡Feliz día del niño! Pronto estaremos en contacto. Son tiempos de contingencia. Hay que quedarse en casa para proteger tu salud y la de todos. Sigue estos sencillos consejos para mantenerte sano. Aliméntate de manera saludable. Limita el consumo de alcohol y de bebidas azucaradas. No fumes. Haz ejercicio. Convive con tu familia. Comparte las labores de la casa. Escucha música, lee y juega con tus hijos. Para más información visita coronavirus.gov.mx Y quédate en casa. Gobierno de México. Síntomas como tos seca, fiebre, dolores musculares o dificultad para respirar. Mantén la calma, visita a tu doctor o llama al 070 para que recibas orientación. No te automediques y toma todas las precauciones para evitar contagiarte de coronavirus. La responsabilidad es de todos. En Canal 28 y Radio Nuevo León, estamos contigo. Canal 28, la televisión de todos. Escuela TV se transmite simultáneamente a través de Canal 28, Libertad 102.1 FM, Opus 1510 AM y Vive FM. Escuela TV se transmite por Vive FM en los municipios de Anáhuac, Sabinas, Cerralbo, Montemorelos, Linares, Galeana y Doctor Arroyo. Esto es Escuela TV. Continuamos. Well, we're here again. Let's continue with the class. I was telling you about the comic strips with only one panel or one frame. If you pay attention into the screen, we have a picture in which we can have a story, a little story using only one frame or a panel. There is a character saying, where do this go? That's an old man. He is talking to his wife. He is an old man talking to his wife and asking her, where do this go? And she is making a face like frustration, saying, Ugh, if he retires, I'll ha I have to kill him. Pay attention. In this kind of comic strip, we are, we are using 
to different bubbles, but we are going to talk about that later. In this moment, I want to explain you only that in just one panel, you can understand the humor of this story because the old man is trying to keep the cutlery, the spoons, the forks, the knives, and he doesn't know where to keep them. And his wife got angry for that. So we can find little comic strips with only one panel, and we're going to find a little story with just one frame. Now, I want to ask you, why comics can be an, ed an educational tool? We have different reasons. Pay attention to this. Because they can help us to transmit a message with different purposes in a funny way. Also, I want to ask you, which subjects do you think you can learn using comic strips? If you are following our classes since the last month, last month before the, the vacation, I'm sure you saw some classes about comic strips, but in Spanish, in second grade of secondary. So you can ask yourself, why are we using comic strips? Well, because they are a great tool to learn more. Which other subject do you think you can learn at school using comic strips? Have you ever thought to learn maybe history or science using comic strips? Does your, does your teacher, your, maybe your history teacher or your science teacher uses comic strips to teach you? Okay, let's see the next image. Pay attention, we have a comic strip in the first picture for those who are following on, on radio, we have a picture with the European Union. There you can see how the European Union was formed. In the second one, we have a picture about the recent event, about the Great Britain and the, and the exit from the Europe, Europe Union, excuse me. Then we have in the third picture, another image about an important event in the Cold War. And in the last one, we have another picture also for the Cold War. All those are topics that you have seen in your history class. Can you imagine that you can learn more about those events using these comic strips? I'm sure that you could learn more if you use this kind of material because maybe it can result more attractive to you using this, ki this kind of material than reading all the time in a textbook. Well, now please think and answer. Do you like reading comic strips? Okay, if you say yes, you are going to say a reason. Why? Yes, because, and you are going to say a reason. Could you name some of them you like the most? I mean, the names of the comic strips you like the most. What do you see in the comic strips? When you read comic strips, what is the most attractive for you? The images, the letter, or what other element? And what do you notice about the layout of the comic strips? That means the design. Which design is more attractive to you? We can use different designs of comic strips. Pay attention. Here we have some genres, and according to the different genres, there are going to be different designs in the comic strips. In the first one, we have superhero. That's the genre who has a lot of characters with superpowers. Then we have comedy and humor that are too similar. They use different kind of characters. Maybe they can be uh, like, uh, the people that you know, or maybe they can be fantastic char characters. Then we have Western with cowboys and other, other kind of characters. Then we have romance, horror, science fiction, fantasy, nonfiction also, manga or anime, and slice of life. Slice of life, I told you in the last class, that is a kind of comic in which you can find situations of the daily life. That's the reason of the name of the genre. And it will have a lot, um, maybe humor or comedy including in the same genre, okay? 
which one of those do you like the most? You can select one of them and talk to your family about your reasons why you like the most. Maybe if you select a superhero, you can give your own opinion about them. Now let's check about the elements in a comic strip. In the last class, we were talking about it, but maybe you were a little confused about the elements, and I would like that you learn it well, because if you are not making your experience folder, when you go back to the school, you will have an exam. And certainly, you are going to need this information. So it is important to understand the differences between the kind of comic strips, like I said, a comic strip or a comic book. It is important to know also the different genres of comics, maybe a comic about superheroes, comedy, etc. And also, the most important, all the elements in a comic strip. Well, let's check in the screen. Here we have five different kind of comic strips. Pay attention, please. We have five different models or, for, or formats about comic strips, and we are going to talk about the panels or the frames. As you know, as I told you in the last class, a panel or a frame is a space in which the story happens. It's a, it's a place in which the story is drawn, okay? So, if you look and pay attention to the first model, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six panels. As you can see, there is not a rule to the shape and the size of the panels. In the first model, we have just one panel using diagonal lines inside and straight lights on the border. Then we have another level. This level, we name it tiers, okay? This is a tier with two panels or frames. Also, they are using diagonal lines and straight lines on the border. And for the third level or the third tier, we are going to find three different panels with diagonal lines also and on the border, just straight lines. Now pay attention to the next one. In the second format, we have only four panels. Two in the first level and two panels in the second level. We said that each level is going to be called tier, okay? So you can see in this model of comic strip, we don't use diagonal lines. So there is not a rule in the way that you are going to draw your own comic. In the third one, we can find squares and rectangles of different shape, of different sizes, excuse me, and all are using striped lines, obviously. In the next one, we have another model of comic strip using just one big panel on the top, on the first tier, two panels in the middle, we can say in the second level or the second tier, they are using diagonal lines and straight lines only on the border. And at last, on the last level or tier, we're using a very big panel, also with diagonal lines. That's the same with the last format. It has only four panels, two levels or two tiers, and they are using diagonal lines, okay? I expect you have understood what the panels or frames are. Now, pay attention. We're going to talk about the gooders. Yesterday, I explained you what a gooder is. Now you can see it in the screen, okay? The gooders are spaces between the panels or frames. As you can see, we have in the right side two different kinds of panels or frames divided by gooders, okay? They are marked with the arrows and in the right side, we have two different models of comics without gutters. The panels are divided only by a line. That is going to be up to the designer, okay? But it is important to remember this element, the gutters, okay? Gutters are, in the most part of the comic strips, about superheroes. I'm sure you have seen a lot. Pay attention, this is a gutter in vertical direction, and this is another gutter in horizontal direction, okay? But here, you can see, in these two models of comic strips, 
we don't have gutters. Well, let's check another important element. This element, it, it's very important, the captions. The captions are spaces where the narrator tells the story. But pay attention to this, not all the panels has captions, okay? Pay attention, in the first panel, in this side, we don't have any caption. Sometimes the panels at the beginning of a comic strip are used to present the title of the comic strip. Then we have another panel with a big caption. It is in this part, okay? It, and in the next uh, panel, we have on the top the captions, okay? You can see the differences between a panel with captions and a panel without captions. We're going to make a pause, and after that, we will come back and continue with the class. Escuela TV, primer grado, secundaria. Escuela TV se transmite simultáneamente a través de Facebook, YouTube y Twitter. Síguenos. Regresamos. Esto es Escuela TV. Sigue viendo Escuela TV. Vivir eternamente a través de la música, sentir al ritmo norteño, de cumbia y tejano, acordes que se instalan por siempre en la memoria. Las Inmortales, con Tomás Valdés, martes 10 de la noche y domingo 2 de la tarde. Canal 28 Jóvenes, lejos del arte. Elegimos mirar diferente. Invertimos más de 70 millones de pesos en tres esferas culturales en García, El Carmen y Galeana. Teatro, danza, lectura y más en comunidades que más lo necesitan. Esta es la mirada diferente. Gobierno de Nuevo León. No comparta rumores sobre el coronavirus. Seamos responsables y dejemos de alarmar a los demás. Comparte solo información de sitios confiables y mantén la calma. Recuerda que la responsabilidad es de todos. En Canal 28 y Radio Nuevo León, estamos contigo. Canal 28, la televisión de todos. Clasificación A Regresamos. Esto es Escuela TV. Escuela TV. Primer grado. Secundaria. Okay, class, let's continue. We were talking about the captions. I told you the captions are the spaces in which the narrator tells the story. Remember that you can find panels without captions. Not all the panels have, uh, have captions. Now we're going to talk about the illustrations. Pay attention in the screen, please. We have different kind of illustrations. Maybe this is one of the most important element in a comic strip, because maybe this is going to result attractive to you, and that is going to be the reason that you prefer that kind of genre. We have three different comic strips in the screen. The first one, it's about blonding. Uh, in, com in that comic strip, you can find a lot of color. In the second one, we have an image about Garfield, a very popular comic strip. And in the last one, we have 
a comic strip about Calvin and Hobbes. Which kind of comic do you prefer? A colorful or a black and white? That's up to you, okay? But remember that this element, it is very important because it could be the most attractive part for, the, for some people. Now, let's, let's talk about the onomatopoeias or sound effects. It is a word that mimics or resembles the sound of a thing it describes. Example, for impact sounds, we have boom, crash, or whack. For natural sounds, we can find splash, spray, or drip. And for matching noises, we can find honk, beep, clang, or zap. Those are some, just some examples. Which other onomatopoeias do you know? Do you know a characteristic about the onomatopoeias? I told you in the last class that they are written with very large letters. They use a special, a special bubble in zigzag shape. Okay, now pay attention please in the screen. We have different examples of onomatopoeias or sound effects. For the first one, it is representing a hit, okay? It says pow. Then we have another one that represents the sound of a gun, bang. We have another one with Garfield making a slap, okay? That's a hit in the cheeks. We have another one about a tight kiss that sounds like smooch. We have another one that is representing an object crashing to another, another object or to the floor, and the sound is crash. We have another one for the sound of an animal, roar. And we have another one that represents the explosion of a bomb, boom. If you pay attention, the most part of the onomatopoeias are inside of bubbles with zigzag shape. Also, they are written in very attractive large letters with color. Now we are going to talk about another important element, the type of bubbles. Pay attention in this image. For those who are following on radio the class, pay attention. In the first bubble, we can find an oval bubble and the stem is closed. That is for dialogue. We have another one in green color that it's a rectangle and its stem also is closed and also is for dialogue. We have another one that it's like a rectangle but with rounded corners and its stem is closed. That also is for dialogue. I put on the top all the speech bubbles, okay? Then in the middle, we have a cloud. It is in gray color. Pay attention, that cloud has little circles that represents a thought or a dream, okay? That's another kind of bubble. Next to the cloud, we have another bubble, but it has broken lines or interrupted lines, and the stem is closed. It is for whispers, very, very low volume of voice. And at the end, we have two different bubbles with zigzag shape. Those are for the sound effects or for screams. When a character is screaming in a story, we're going to find this kind of bubbles with zigzag shape. Or when we find a sound effect or an onomatopoeia, we're going to find also a zigzag shape. Now let's make a practice. Pay attention, please. We're going to use a screen. You're going to read, it says practice. How many of each one do you see? Number of bubbles, four, we have for speech. Okay, pay attention. Look at all the bubbles and decide which of them are for speech. I'm going to tell you something. Maybe you're going to find one bubble that has the shape of a cloud, but if the stem is closed, it is going to be used for dialogue, okay? Not for thoughts. That cloud that has circles, it's for thought or for a dream, okay? And if we have Zigzag shape is for scream or for an onomatopoeia. Now please tell me, 
How many of each one do you see? Well, I'm going to write the answers, pay attention. For the first one, for speech. If you look at the first one, we have the stem closed. So that indicates that is for a dialogue. This looks like, like a cloud, but it has the stem, the stem closed. Now I have one for dialogue. This is not for dialogue. This is not for dialogue. This is for dialogue. Also this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, and six for speech. Then for thoughts, how many thoughts bubbles do you see? I see only one and two thought bubbles. How do I know it? Because they have those circles, okay? Now, for whispers, I don't see anyone. Remember that for whispers, we use broken lines or interrupted lines, so we don't have anyone. Now, for screams, we said that for screams or onomatopoeias, we use zigzag lines. Which one is? This one, just one. Okay, now let's make another practice. Just give me a minute, please. Okay. Let's wait a second, please. Okay. It's not working. Okay. Let's check if I can change it from here. Okay, we have a uh, technical problem. I'm waiting for the computer. I have a lot of practices for you, but this is not responding me. Could you please check it? Okay, let's make a pause, and after that we will continue with the practice, okay? Thank you. Esto es Escuela TV. Continuamos. Escuela, Escuela TV. El cine que nos une presenta. Si yo fuera malicioso, diría que este grupito está conspirando contra el gobierno. No. <risa> de casos de niños y ancianos. Afectados por los vapores de bisulfuro de carbón. Secuestro o autosecuestro del ingeniero Castelar sirva como una maniobra empresarial. No pagaste. Cálmate. No, no me voy a calmar. Es la vida de mi marido, ¿entiendes? Déjame explicarte. La investigación va muy bien. ¿Crees que pague, Nacho? El presidente lo que le sobran son centavos. Van a pagar. La familia Castelar hace un llamado a los secuestradores para que liberen a mi hermano el mundo. Canal 28. Días difíciles. Martes 21 de abril, 11 de la noche. Se pasó al alto. Ayúdeme, oficial. Mire, nada más traigo esto. Sí, le ayudo. Esta es su infracción y este es mi reglamento de tránsito. Se lo regalo. Yo soy de los que dicen no a la corrupción. Consejo de la Comunicación, Voz de las Empresas. Es tiempo de cuidar tu salud, de reconocer tu entorno, de buscar las tendencias, de combinar tradición y modernidad. Hoy es el día de conocer lo mejor de la televisión. Lunes a viernes, 9 de la mañana. Canal 28.
A lo largo del día, tu vida busca un nivel lleno de música, aplicaciones y, claro, videojuegos. Y tu nivel debe ser... Nivel 5. Viernes 5 de la tarde. Y sábado 10 de la mañana. Canal 28. La mejor oportunidad para que nuestros niños recorran el país es una aventura que genera participación y le ayuda a reconocer nuestra cultura. La lleva a México. Martes y jueves, 4.30 de la tarde. Sábado y domingo, 8.30 de la mañana. Canal 28. Canal 28. La televisión de todos. Regresamos. Esto es Escuela TV. Ok, here we are again. Thank you, and I'm sorry, I apologize for the technical problem, but we found the solution. Now we are going to continue with the practice of the different kind of bubbles. Please pay attention in the practice. We said that we found one, two, three, four, five, six speech bubbles, only two for thought bubbles, any one for whispers, and just one for screams. Now let's continue with, with another practice. Pay attention, please, in the screen. It says select the right answer. The first one is for thought bubble. The next one, letter B, it's sound effect bubble. And the last one, letter C, speech bubble. Now we are going to write the right answers. Okay? For thought bubble, remember, they must have the shape of a cloud. So I have one here. That's letter A. Do you see another thought bubble? No. Now for Sound effect bubble. Remember, it must to have zigzag shape. Only one, this one. Pay attention to this. This is letter B. It's a sound effect bubble. Why I cannot select this one? Because the stem is closed, okay? If the stem is closed, that represents a speech bubble, okay? Even when it has zigzag shape in the stem. Here, it doesn't have zigzag and the stem is closed so this is for speech so for speech bubble letter c i have one two and three okay now let's continue in this other practice you can see also different kind of bubbles i have a lot pay attention the number one the number one has a cloud a cloud shape so it is for thought. The number two, it's another cloud, but it doesn't have circles, so it is used just to represent a fight. The number three is a speech bubble. In the number four, you can find that it is not a cloud. It is an oval, but it has in the stem only circles, so it represents also a thought or a dream. In the number five, you can find zigzag lines or shapes. So it is for screams. The number six is a little, it's a little cloud, but it is used only to represent a fight because it doesn't have a stem. In the number seven, also we have a cloud without the little circles. So it is used only for represent a cloud. In the number eight, you have a cloud with a stem. So it is for a speech because you have a closed stem. Pay attention to that. In the number nine, we have a shape like a cloud, but with little circles, so it's for thought. Number 10 has zigzag shape, and it's for screams. Number 11, it's a cloud with a stem closed. It is different. Pay attention to this. It is very important because this kind of bubbles, you are going to find them a lot in the comic strips about superheroes because they usually fight. So I told you, number seven, number six, they don't have stem. It's only the cloud. 
So it, it is not for speech, it is not for thought. That represents only a fight. And here, in over 11, we have a cloud, but we have a stem, and it is closed. So it is for dialogue. Even when it is a cloud, it is for dialogue. So you pay attention to this part that is closed. Now, in the number 12, you can find zigzag shape. That's for an onomatopoeia. Then we have on 13, a cloud that represents a fight. And in the last one, the number 14, also to represent a fight. Well, now let's match the onomatopoeias with the objects. Pay attention. We have the first sound, bang. We have said that bang represents the sound of a gun. Then we have boing. That's an onomatopoeia or a sound that represents the sound that a ball that is falling to the floor. Then we have boom, like an explosion. And then we have slap. That is the name exactly of a hit to the cheeks, okay? So we can relate them or match them doing this. Bang, it's with a gun, okay? We have boing, that it's with the ball. I didn't mark this one, okay, here it is. Now we have boom, boom is for the bomb, and slap is for this one, okay? Which other onomatopoeias do you know? Which other kind of sound effects do you know? Can you name them? Okay. Now we are going to make another kind of practice. I want to know if you have understood a lot of things that I said during all the class with the main elements of a comic strip, okay? We have talked about the frames or panels. We have talked about the gutters or spaces between the panels. We have talked about the captions or the places where the narrators tell the story. And we have told about the tiers, the levels in a comic strip. So please now pay attention into the screen. This is like a little exam. We're going to answer also this activity. For those who are on radio, in the number one, we are pointing to the first two panels in a level of a comic strip. Which one do you think is the right answer? Well, we said that for a level on a comic strip, we are going to name tier, that it's the letter D. Then the number two is pointing to a space that is marked for the narrator, where he is going to tell the story. So that is the caption, it's letter C. The number three, it's pointing to a space that we have between the panels. Remember that not all the comic strips have the gutters. That spaces are named gutters. That's letter B. And the last one, number four is pointing to the panel. That's the space where we are going to find the main important element of a comic strip, the illustration, the drawing. So it's the panel letter a. I expect you have learned all the main elements in a comic strip, okay? And beside of all those elements, it is important to identify also if the comic strip has the name of the cartoon, the name of the illustrator, okay? Or you can say the cartoonist, the cartoonist's name. Well, now let's talk about the social values. Pay attention because this is very important today and in the last class for Tomorrow we are going to be talking about the social values in the comic strip. Do you think that social values are included in comic strips? Well, there are a lot of social values, even in comic strips about superheroes. But I know that you know a lot of social values because you study about that with your teacher, with your ethics teacher, or your socio-emotional teacher, and today we are going to review some of those social values. Pay attention to this. The first one is respect. The next one, justice. The next one, love. The next one, equity. The next one, equality. Pay attention because equity and equality, it is not the same. Then we have honesty. We have humility, peace, friendship, confidence, tolerance, 
loyalty, empathy, and freedom. Do you know another social value? If you know, tell to your parents which other social values do you know. Remember, just write the most important about the class. If you consider necessary, take pictures about the elements that we are naming, and you can include that in your experience folder, okay? Now, pay attention to this. Now, we are, now that we are talking about the social values, I want to take the opportunity to remind you that we need to practice all these social values. In the next class, in the last class of the week, we will continue talking about the social values in comic strips, and also, I'm going to tell you how to create your own comic strip, okay? I'll see you in the next class. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next class. Escuela TV, primer grado, secundaria. Escuela TV se transmite simultáneamente a través de Canal 28, Libertad 102.1 FM, Opus 1510 AM y Vive FM. Escuela TV Canal 28, la televisión de todos ¡Ey! ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué pasa? Perdón, pero es que acabo de leer que no debemos de tener contacto físico por la onda del coronavirus ¿Y ahora cómo nos vamos a saludar? Si tú tampoco sabes cómo saludar a tus amigos, te tengo cinco muy buenas alternativas La primera es el saludo de codo el segundo saludo es el tipo militar. La tercera alternativa es tipo Wakanda. <risa> 